Welcome back to my channel or welcome. Today I'm going to play along with the scrap room sketch challenge and this is the jump start sketch. And so I pulled out a whole bunch of stuff from my scrap bin and then these two pieces of pattern paper and I'm going to scrap this picture and I'm in the picture holding my baby. She's my oldest, not that little anymore. And this is her great grandmother in the hospital. Um, so I wanted to use this piece of packaging that I just measured because um, I like it and it's that yellow piece. And so in the sketch, there's two horizontal pieces that are going across the, the page. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use this yellow one that has a blue polka dot on it. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. And then the blue piece is just a piece of textured cardstock. So I'm um, just gonna cut this. It's four by 10 are both of these pieces. And so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I pulled this blue paper cause I thought it would go nicely with the blue and it's okay. I just, it's not my cup of tea. Um, and then I'm just looking at some of the bits and pieces that I pulled from my scrap and that I kept to see what I can do. So I like this yellow and white striped piece of paper and it's going to be the first layer from my picture. Eventually, um, these two pieces are going to go kind of the, the vertical pieces that are in the sketch. And so I don't have lots of those, so I'm going to cut them down. But first I decide I definitely do not want that as my background. So I went and pulled some more of those vintage yellowy kind of brownie tones. And so this one would have been okay, but it's too shiny for the rest of the stuff. That brown one, I decided, no, this cream one was just too cream. And so then I've got this one here that um, is a darker brown, but it almost, it doesn't have a paisley print on it, but it almost kind of does. It has texture to it. So it's not just flat brown. Um, and then there was this brown, like chocolate cardstock, and then this piece. And I don't mind this piece, but I think the one that I just put back is definitely gonna make it pop more. So we've decided on this one. I'm going to find my tape and I'm gonna tape down my picture. I was just looking at the date and the date is not right on it. It's just when uh, I saved it from, I think it was on Facebook at one point and I saved it onto my camera on my phone and yeah <laughs> wasn't the right date but that's okay and so then I'm gonna look at my pages here so I'm thinking the yellow on top because I want this blue behind and I want the blue on the top to kind of pop a little bit more so and I'm just cutting these two into three block like three inch blocks it's from a six by six paper pad, but that's all I got left of that piece of paper. And then there's this piece, and I really like the back side of this, but I like this white and cream, or this cream and blue polka dot. So I want a little bit of it, but I wanna keep like the dragonfly and the bird on the other side, cause I still like this little piece of paper and eventually maybe I'll use it. So, <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take off just a, itty bitty piece to go in between these two pieces of paper and this is a little fruitless at the at, at to, it, it totally is I'm going to cover it up but I'm going to go through the the process of getting these two little pieces in between these two big pieces so that I don't have a strip missing and it looks like these are long pieces that go the whole way without going the whole way. So I'll show you how to do the middle and then I will skip to the last page or last putting the last piece down because this took me a little bit of time and you don't want to watch it for almost 10 minutes. It didn't quite take me 10 minutes but like it took a little bit of time to do this. So I'm just lining up where I want those those two top pieces I know exactly where I want. I want these two long pieces to be um, centered. So I put that 
polka dot piece right at the six inch line on my T-square. And so that's gonna look like that, that's gonna look like that, and that's gonna be fine. It's gonna shift all the way like to the left more. But this is kind of how it goes. And then so all the other pieces are down and I'm just putting that yellow one down now. Scuff up those edges just a little bit. And then this is where I decide, oh, I'm gonna put that in right there over top of all the work I just did to put that in there. But oh well, I know it's there. You know it's there. Nobody else will know it's there, but that's okay. <laughs> so then I trimmed down this yellow backing for what my, my photos on because I want to use this little bit of the this map that will poke out the sides because it gives that same kind of yellowy feel in another spot and then I've got this blue piece of pattern paper that's it's really thin but it's still the right color of blue so I'm going to put that underneath and I'm just eyeballing where I'm cutting those on my cutter and then just seeing if there's anything else I want to stick underneath. Um, if this page that I had was longer, I would have probably used it. But and I like this little corner piece, so it's going on. And then I pulled out some doilies. And so I'm going to use these two that are the same from Studio Calico. So I think that works pretty good. And then I'm thinking I need some more stuff. So I opened up my yellow bin and I pulled out these flowers and these are from some assemblage required and then I pulled out from my neutral bin a whole bunch of different ribbon because why not put ribbon on it and when I was in my neutral bin there was these um, word phrases so those are uh, Jennifer or Jasmine sorry Jasmine Jones and so I'm pretty sure they came from Studio Calico and then I have this what if it's white-ish, cream-ish lace. And then I have this other piece of ribbon that's gonna go on top. And so I'm just deciding if I like that. And that's gonna go there, it's the right color. And so I'm just gonna cut off what I need. It doesn't need to go all the way across because most of it's gonna get covered if I did. And then a little bit on this side, so it continues the look. And so I just cut off the lace and then used the other one to get the ribbon. And then this is what I'm thinking. And the doilies, I'm like, hmm, do I need them now? Do I not? But And then I just put a line of Nuvo glue on. And I'm just going to use my T-square to kind of line up the lace on the other side. And so then that goes down into the glue. And then I'm going to put some dots on top for the ribbon. And then this ribbon piece is going to go on top. And then put something heavy on top of that little piece for a minute. And then I'm going to put some fun foam on the back of my photo so it sticks up a little bit so that what it overlaps with the ribbon doesn't cause it to be like all warped or anything. So it's going to go about there. And then I decide that this is moving around. So I'm going to staple it down first before I get too far. So those edges are stapled. And then I'm just going to bend this last one for the staples over just because of the way I had to staple the inside of that. And then this is going to go on here. I was trying to make it so the photo is straight. And then I look at my letters and go, oh, they're not going to quite fit. <laughs> and so I just move this over a bit more. And that's good enough. And so my title is going to be Delightful Together, because they definitely were. Um, and you can see the, the grin on Grandma's face and... Um, the grin on Matea's face, so they're just having a grand old time. And then, because I didn't put this underneath, I needed to take a corner piece out of the doily. And so I was just like, hmm, am I going to use this? And I decided I do want it on both spots. So this one can get taped down. This one will get taped down as well. 
And I do like that a lot. And then I'm going to open up these flowers. And then I didn't realize there was a little bit of green stuff in here for leaves. So that was a happy surprise. And I thought about putting a couple of little ones on the edge of the ribbon, but I don't think it actually needs it. So I did play around with trying to get some green up at the top too, but I like this green leaf down here. And I like the flower here. And I like this flower a little bit closer. Um, and now I'm gonna play with this one. And that would have been okay. I just, it wasn't, I don't know, with them being three different kinds of leaves, I just wasn't feeling it. If I had the same leaves, I totally would have put one up at the top, but that's okay. Um, and so I'm just sprinkling around some more of these flowers because I do want to make kind of a diagonal now. And I just want to put a tiny bit of journaling on here. And so I'm going to choose this blue label and then just fussy cut it out. And then I'm going to grab my hole puncher. And then this is how I get the tickets for the, the nice size on the, the labels when they have like that punched out look. I just use my hole puncher. And so it gives a nice look and then I don't have to try and round it out with my circles. And so then my um, journaling just says great grandma Jenny Bass. I'll probably do a little more journaling on the back about um, when this was and what it was about, um, but that doesn't have to go in the front. And then I was just looking to see if there's anything else that I wanted on here. And it is, I'm going to play with these one more time. Not going to happen. And now I've decided, yep, yeah, that is what I want to do. So here's some close-ups. There should be some still shots coming up here in a second. Um, I really like the ribbon. It makes me happy. So if you liked my video today, I would very much appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you did. And I like that so much. This one makes me happy. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. There's a couple of videos and a, a playlist here for you. Have a great day.